I'm Crystal Hart and welcome to the Crystal Hart Show. We are in Cleveland, Ohio for the Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley fight and after eight rounds of boxing, Jake Paul defeats Tyron Woodley by split decision. Then in the co-main event, Amanda Serrano defeats Yamileth Mercado by 10th round unanimous decision. And from the UK, Tommy Fury, who is Tyson Fury's brother, defeats Anthony Taylor by fourth round unanimous decision. And now, let's go to post. Well, we're, we're, we're hoping, um, uh, we're gonna go back to the drawing board and I don't know what these girls want. If <laughs> They've been offered a pretty um, decent amount, the most that they have ever been, um, but, been offered and I don't know what, what's going to happen. I want to become undisputed champion. I mean, if you're a champion in a weight division, you want to be not just a piece of the, the pie. You want the whole pie. So um, I don't know what, what's going to happen. I don't want to continue to fight other champions in other weight classes because I want to be the best at featherweight. Is there a possibility that maybe if, it, if those unifications fights don't happen, then maybe you can go back to another weight class and try to see if you find better success? Um, um, I don't, I don't know. I feel, I, I feel great at, at featherweight. This is my, my weight class. I want to dominate this weight class, and I don't think anybody can beat me. I want at featherweight at 126, so I want to continue there. But we'll see. <laughs> I didn't feel that she was aggressive. She wasn't fighting like a Mexican. I think she was um, boxing a little bit. I wanted a, a, a fight. I wanted to be a Mexican fight. I wanted her to come forward, and um, I guess she figured she didn't want to engage with me. She felt my power, and. Um, yeah, she just, she, she, I was breaking her down round by round, and the last round you saw, I caught her with the hook, and, um, but you know, she was a tough fighter, Mexicans are all tough, but, uh, you know, she didn't want to engage. What would your coaches have been? <laughs> My coach has, he's very vocal, and um, he, because um, during, you know, training camp and interviews, she was saying that she's going to, um, she's, that I'm the, if I'm the Pacquiao of um, boxing, she's going to be the Marquez, and you know, that's kind of disrespectful. So he wanted um, the Mexican fighter to come and fight like a Mexican, and they didn't do that. And so he was just a little upset. I mean, uh, we definitely want that fight. I definitely want to fight Katie Taylor. She's um, arguably the f number one, two. We both, between Clarissa Shields, me, and, and Katie is the top three. Um, I definitely want the fight, and we're hoping if I become undisputed champion, then we, that fight can come along. I want to be undisputed champion versus undisputed champion. But um, I don't know what's what's happening now, so we just um, got to go back and just figure it out. What did you think of the Cleveland crowd tonight? Oh my God, it was awesome! I was so surprised how much um, fans I have here. It was um, it was amazing. The last time I felt this when I fought in 2019. Um, in Madison Square Garden, and it was a crazy crowd. And with this whole pandemic going along, we didn't, we haven't felt that crowd. And it was just amazing coming out to the music, and I was just um, taking it all in. It was an amazing night. What do you do after what? When it's that? Are you, are you gonna rest a little bit, or are you gonna celebrate? Well, I'm uh, gonna go get something to eat, that's for sure. But I leave tomorrow early. My flight's at 10 o'clock. I'm back home, and then I guess we'll celebrate um, home. I just go out to eat. <laughs> Well, the the right um the right payday, you know. I I I've done everything I have to do. I'm fighting good fights, top ten girls. I'm beating them. Um, I'm I'm doing what I have to do to to continue to keep my name out there, and it's just up to it's up to the promoters. I mean, let's see if. And the money, you know, I want to get paid what I what I deserve. Yeah, it's um, MMA and, and boxing is two different sports, and either going from one to another, it's 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 crazy. You have to you have to just give it everything you like to one sport. And I know when I when I'm go to MMA, I can't even think about boxing. It's just MMA, MMA. And you know, Wooly, he's a he's a fighter. And he was a champion, and you know it. He was, you know, he came out tonight and he um, didn't get the win. Hopefully he gets the rematch like he said he wants. But um, I don't know. I mean, Jake Paul, he showed that he's uh, a fighter tonight. What do you, uh, you think of Woodley's boxing? I mean, Woodley, 
he um it wasn't like the the greatest um <laughs> but they were, they were, it was tough it was, it was his first time it was his pro debut so you have to and just like Jake Jake he's he's learning on the job he never had any amateur experience and um you know Woodley he was he's a, he was a fighter so you he was able to see it a little more than than Jake but they they're gonna just continue to learn and and Jake is young and he's gonna continue to to train hard and he's gonna one day he's gonna surprise all of us. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Cleveland, Ohio. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the fights.